Hi everyone and welcome to the presentation of the work Bayesian Multidas Learning MPC for Robotic Mobile Manipulation. My name is Maria Vittoria Mignetti and this was a joint work between the Institute of Dynamic Systems and Control and the Robotic Systems Lab of EDH Zurich. In robotics, mobile manipulation is challenging due to the need of solving many diverse tasks. For example, a robot may be required to open doors with different stiffness coefficients. When a robot manipulates an unknown object or when its dynamics is partially unknown, model uncertainties can limit the controller's performance. In this work, we explore the fact that although some parameters may change, mobile manipulation tasks often share a common structure. Thus, we leverage multitask learning to obtain real-time high-performance MPC controllers in the presence of uncertainties affecting either the object model or the robot model. To this end, we model the unknown part of the system dynamics of MPC using an additive error E. We use a parametric error model representation where each component of the additive error uh, E is approximated as a linear combination of a non nonlinear basis function phi by means of linear parameters k. We assume that the basis functions are shared among a set of tasks while the linear parameters are task specific. We employ a multitask learning method where the basis functions phi are modeled with trigonometric functions and the shared hyperparameters are the basis function frequencies and the initial variances of a prior distribution associated with the linear parameters. For data collection, we let the robot perform n similar tasks under a nominal MPC controller. This offline data is then used to optimize the shared hyperparameters using KL divergence minimization. During closed loop control, the linear parameters are updated online via Kalman filtering, and the approximated error is compensated in the MPC system dynamics. We test the proposed method in the motion control problem of a ball bot, where we are interested in learning the modeling error in the robot dynamics. In our simulation setup, we perturb the robot dynamics model by adding offsets to the link's masses and center of masses. For training, we steer the robot along a set of trajectories, and the objective of the simulations is for the robot to track a desired and effector pose. We compare against a number of baselines, including a nominal MPC controller, which does not perform many adaptation, and we find that the closed-loop behavior under the multitask MPC controller is the closest to the closed-loop behavior under the ground truth MPC controller, which is a theoretical baseline that is perfectly aware of the model mismatch. We also test the proposed method in the Robinin experiments with a quadrupedal manipulator, where we are interested in learning the modeling error in the object dynamics. In our experimental setup, we artificially modify the friction between the door and the ground by adding a box to the back of the door and by gradually increasing the mass of the box. We collect training data in three scenarios characterized by low friction, medium friction, and in the presence of human perturbations. And we test the method in a, a number of scenarios, some of which were not seen at training time. We find that under the multitask MPC controller, the door angle tracking error converges to zero and is approximately the same across the tasks. While under the nominal MPC controller, the door angle tracking error increases as soon as we increase the friction between the door and the ground. We additionally compare against a single task MPC controller, which was trained only on one task characterized by human disturbances, and we find that the single task MPC overfits to the frequencies of the human disturbance dataset, which leads to a more aggressive behavior. To conclude, in this work, we combine the MPC with multitask model learning based on sinusoidal features. The resulting scheme runs in real time on a robot's onboard computer while identifying the modeling error in the MPC system dynamics. We applied the method to two robotics control problems, the motion planning um, problem of a quadrupedal manipulator and the motion control problem of a ball bot. And we performed the extensive simulation and experimental results for the full description of which we invite the interesting audience to check out the paper. And with this, I thank you all for the attention and I hope you visit at the Boston session.